Hi guys and welcome back to another video and today I want to chat to you about the different types of social media content. So if you're doing your own social media plans or schedules then you can consider all these types of social media content and see which ones are your dominant ones. You probably will have some that are. Um, before I get right into it, I do make videos on social media, visuals, branding, photo shoots, video shoots, all that shebang for independent music artists to help you guys on your way. So if that is useful or helpful to you, then please like and subscribe. Okay, let's dive right in. Okay, so when I'm doing social media plans for artists, it is helpful just to split the content into categories just to make it clearer. Um, it's, I think it's also easier for them to then build off those content ideas as well because they've got an idea of each section and it's not just like, whoa, content as a big mess. So I'm just going to run through the main types and give you some examples. Um, you won't use probably all of them. You might do, but I think you'll have like three that are probably your dominant ones and that are uh, the best fit for you. So obviously go, go with those going forward. Um, but yeah, it just gives the whole social media planning thing. Uh, it makes it all a bit clearer in your head, basically. Okay, one, documentary style. So this is like a day in the life. This is where I find Insta stories are key. It's that snapshot into your like real time. And I think that is really, really good for building connection with fans. The fact that they can see what you're doing at that time is a deeper level of connection than they're gonna get from like watching a video of you like pre-recorded, etc. So Insta stories, documentary, a day in the life type thing, what's going on in your life in real time. That was number one. Two, promotional. Obviously this is, everyone's gonna do this, whether you're a business, a music artist, and um, there are gonna be promotional posts, but make sure that it isn't just promo, 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 and that you interject with other types of content to break it up and to build that further connection. But obviously you have new music out and that is gonna be promoted, so promotional is another one. You know what kind of post this is, your cover art, your music videos, anything that says go listen to my latest song, promotional, you know that. Okay, third one, personal. So here you wanna discuss if you're a band with each other or if it's just you. You need to decide on your boundaries. How much personal stuff you're gonna share and how much you're gonna keep for yourself. Again, it is good to share some personal content because it does inspire deeper connection. It lets your fans get to know you and the more they know you, the more they're gonna invest in you. So some personal content here and there is really good, but do have those boundaries in place so you know and you don't feel like, oh, if you've watched this video that I'll link up here about branding yourself, your story and your values will come into the personal content. Maybe you'll talk about like mental health, you'll be open with your own struggles, or you'll show you and a friend when you like when you have a friend over to stay and you guys go traveling or something, that kind of personal content. Consider if you're gonna share your friends and family on your channel. Um, all that stuff will come into your boundaries. So get your boundaries in place and then decide what kind of level and what subjects of the personal content you're gonna bring in. Okay, the next one is entertainment. So this is stuff that is purely for entertainment value. Comedy sketches, a lot of the like lip sync and dance stuff on TikTok would be entertainment. I think TikTok is the platform for entertainment content. But yeah, so if you say you're a singer and you're also, you've also dabbled in stand-up comedy, then entertainment is gonna be a key category for you. So yeah, how can you provide entertainment content? And if this isn't for you, then don't worry. Like I said, you'll probably have three, maybe four categories that you primarily cover. So if you're like, oh, I don't wanna do, I don't, I'm not entertaining, I don't wanna be entertaining, other than obviously through your music, then that's fine. Okay, so the next one is educational. So this is sharing your knowledge, wisdom, tips, and tricks. So obviously me on this channel, this is educational. This is a primary category for me. As musicians or bands, you might not you might not do this one and that's fine too, but I think anything involving sharing tips for like learning instruments or singing, sharing your studio setup and recommending any brands for like equipment that you use, I think that all comes under educational. So if you do any of those things or if any of those content, types of content feel right for you, then that comes under educational. It's sharing your knowledge, whether that is recommending brands, equipment, or sharing tips for you know vocal exercises, how you do a warm up, um, that kind of stuff. So yeah, educational. And the last one is inspirational. And again, I don't know how much, how maybe this is one of the less relevant ones for you guys, but maybe not. 
Um, this is like overcoming challenges, inspirational stories, how you've created your perfect, perfect life. Your story will come into this. So if you've had a really inspiring, I guess, progression to this point, maybe you've overcome a massive hurdle or a challenge, and that could be inspirational for people to hear, then that's where that content will come in. So I, I think a lot of like, maybe travel creators would do this a lot, obviously living a life, traveling full time, showing all these amazing places. That's the kind of inspirational stuff. So again, it's probably relevant for some of you, maybe not all. So yeah, these are the six different types of social media content. I hope it makes it easier for you when you're like, scheduling and planning your content and yeah just have a think about which three are the most important for you and let me know in the comments which ones are yours um and yeah i hope you enjoyed and got lots of ideas i think that's all i have left to say but yeah i hope it was helpful thank you for watching i have also reached a thousand subscribers so thank you so much i appreciate you all very very much and i hope you find lots of value in this channel thank you and i'll see you next time bye